Hi, I'm Senior Airman Nico Manga from the 28 CES. I'm an electrical systems technician. I'm an electrician, basically. I'm a, I'm a building electrician. I can be a lineman as well, and I can be a fire alarms specialist. Every job is different because we start from high voltage, which is everything from the transformers over there and the power lines to your outlets. And sometimes we even deal with your fire alarms. We make sure that everything from the flight line is up and going 100%. I think we, as electricians, strengthen everybody here. CE is the foundation. We make sure everybody's up and going. My favorite part about my job is its unpredictability. I'd say every day is a new, it's a new day. It's, uh, it's different every time and uh, you can say it's like a puzzle almost every day where something's not working and you got to figure out how it works. You just, what they told me is, uh, are you afraid of heights? And I said, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm afraid of heights. We'll see. So I just took the job and out of nowhere. So I'm climbing 35 foot poles with two inch gaffs and a belt. So it's pretty, it's pretty gnarly. So I have a very dangerous job if you really don't know what you're doing. Electricity is a very powerful being. You know, people say you'd be scared of it, but as electricians, we are, we're trained to start respecting it instead. If you, if you find something very, very powerful, learn about it. I'm Senior Airman Niku Manga, and I strengthen the team. Stand clear, going hot. All clear. Oh, hey Team ADAP, how you guys doing? Give me one second. Power back on. My name is Staff Sergeant Mark Terry Jr. and we are your electricians. Being a part of the electrical team is an awesome experience. We love being able to provide power to our customers in order to facilitate their jobs and missions. As an electrician in the United States Air Force, we get to experience high and low voltage ranging from 11,000 all the way to 120 volts, as well as dealing with contingency assets. We try to be more proactive rather than reactive and stay ahead of the game. Being undermanned, everyone in the shop does their part to identify safety concerns throughout the base, whether on shift or not. We are 24-7 ops, and nighttime is the best time to work on the base's lighting system. There are numerous lights throughout ADAB, which have been upgraded to LED, which are more efficient and have a higher lifespan. Hey, so now that you know a little bit about us, we wanna make sure that we teach you how to be safe in your workplace and in your own dorms. Sergeant Price, I'm all done with Team ADAB. They're all yours. Got it, I'll take them from here. Hello ADAB, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about electrical safety. With most of your plugs, you're going to want to turn off the switch that's located on the receptacle, plug it in, and then turn it back on. Otherwise, you may cause sparking. And then you'll have power going to your power strip. But don't just plug anything in. Make sure when you go to plug something in, it shows the dual voltage, 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Otherwise, it's start a fire. Sergeant Price, it's an emergency. You need to come check this out. If you have any questions, call the CE help desk. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, hey that camel, camel, no! I'm Staff Sergeant Curry, and I am the mission. Today, we're running PVC for COM, uh, basically from a manhole to this building to give internet access to everything that they need to get their mission taken care of. One of the biggest things here is doing our daily job and also uh, working on Cargo City as well because it's two different missions. Essentially, we're a low staff team, so but we've been able to get through everything and every obstacle that's been presented. Same with the electrician primarily, but uh, doing structures work, assistant HVAC, Power Pro, and also Dirt Boys, heavy equipment, and just uh, getting my hands involved in a little bit of everything out here. Cargo City in general, our whole team has played a major role in the development and the uh, building of it, and it's one of the major in and outs for people coming to the theater. So it's one of the biggest projects in the area right now, and this is one of the proudest things we as a team have accomplished. I'd say as electricians, we have a very wide variety of responsibilities. This can range from installs, repairs, maintenance, troubleshooting, and a modification of electrical systems 
as well as components uh, ranging from above and below 600 volts. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be very dangerous. So more so the challenge in its basic self is the knowledge and trying to learn more. And you're always going to be learning more as an electrician. Obviously, facilities that support the mission and the people that work inside those facilities, they, they rely on electrical power to do their job. Even when the people go home to the dorms, that's electrically ran. The AC is electrically ran. Um, the defects that, that feed everybody on base, they need power in order to do that. And um, without our electrical shop, I think it'd be detrimental to the Air Force mission in itself. There's a lot of different things that are very rewarding about this job. My favorite thing is that when all the crafts come together in CE, so like Whiffums, Dirt Boys, Structures, uh, we all come together and usually it's to build a facility from the ground up. Once we do that, you see all the hard work put in, uh, you meet lots of people and then at the very end you see the whole picture and the whole facility that's working, helping support the mission and you can say that you had a footprint in that, that you, you helped in that. That's a very rewarding uh, aspect of this job. You gotta have lights, you gotta have power supply. Without that, you know, you can't get on your computer. If you can't work in the dark all day long, it's impossible to do your job. So our mission is to make sure we have power to our facilities, our units, just the whole base and stuff in general. What we do day to day basis would be modify electrical components, as in like light switches, um, lights, as simple as putting a light bulb in uh, when it's dark outside or exit sign, putting a battery in up to airfield lighting because without that stuff, the pilots, uh, anybody that's on in one way can't do their job or, you know, pilots can't, can't land, don't know where they're at. So it's really important to have them lights working. We'll make sure that everything is inspected correctly, you know, following the safety regulations and make sure that, you know, everybody gets what they need. At the end of the day, it's the most important thing is the customers satisfied. Make sure that, you know, they can do their job. You know, we go into offices and stuff to fix light switch receptacles or something. People see that as not, okay, that's not dangerous stuff. But like, you know, whenever it comes to like high voltage or something or like going up as high as 60 feet up in the air, it's a high risk job. But it is very, it is very rewarding at the end of the day.